Yeah, it's a bit like the former US Defence Secretary Donald Rumsfeld used to say, there are known knowns, known unknowns and unknown unknowns. And perhaps the most striking thing about the Yellowhammer documents is how little the government still knows about the impact of a no-deal Brexit. And one of the only things that at the time of writing was a known known was Brexit Day, October the 31st. But now, of course, thanks to Parliament's intervention, that no longer looks so sure. So that will go across into the known unknowns column. They know that the public and businesses won't be ready. And that's despite the fact we've seen figures showing a big increase in businesses being registered for trading status, largely thanks to the government handing out these so-called EORI numbers. That's up by 88,000 to 160,000 in total. They know that warehouse availability will be a problem, but not how much of a problem. Though back in January, the UK Warehousing Association said 75% of warehouses had already reached capacity. They know supermarkets will stockpile, but will it be enough? Today, three major retailers told us they were worried about a no-deal Brexit, and they're preparing to stockpile from John Lewis to Morrison's and indeed the co-op. They know medicines and drug supplies are vulnerable to shortages, but not how bad the shortages could be. They know financial services and data sharing will be affected, but they have little sense of how badly. They know energy supplies, this long list I know, shouldn't be disrupted, but they don't know how much prices will rise, save that they will, that there'll be a knock-on economic and political consequences. Indeed, they're currently trying to recruit consultants to help them answer that question. You get the idea. The whole document is full of known unknowns. The real worry, though, and one that doesn't feature in Yellowhammer, are the unknown unknowns, the stuff that nobody can predict.